Hey, thanks for watching. Decided to do something a little different and I'm going to do a pre-race video. Talk to you a little bit about the race I have coming up and a little bit of history with me behind it. So I decided to do this video because today marks the one year anniversary of me shattering that arm doing the 12 hours at Starvation Ridge. And of course, it happened on what was supposed to be my last lap of the night. I go out, do my lap, make one little mistake, fall into a rut, arm lands in the rut, and I keep going, and it kind of bends, snaps, breaks, and a whole bunch of chaos ensued. So now because of that, I have a big old plate in here and 10 screws. But just kind of fitting because today marks one year since I did that and I will be doing the same race coming up this weekend. So a little bit of a redemption. Uh, looking for a good time though. I've already raced a couple times at Starvation Ridge and I feel pretty good. We kind of have a back and forth relationship with there. Normally it's anywhere from either I'm sick or I get a flat tire or I break my arm. So anything can happen for me when it comes to that race. So it's always eventful, always a good time. But just decided since it's been a year and have new subscribers, a bunch of people following this that might not know me, give you a little bit of history of what happened and kind of show you what all went through. In short though, uh, it was kind of a big change. I was starting off the year feeling really good racing, uh, having best racing year I've ever had. I was feeling great, really enjoying the bike, I was in shape, and I was doing great, uh, having a lot of fun. And then this happened and it set me back quite a bit. Um, I was four months of no motorcycle riding. That was really hard to deal with. And on top of that, I couldn't do much physically. Um, so, you know, really kind of got out of shape as far as just that stamina and endurance. Uh, gained a little bit of weight because not a lot you can do when your arms held together and you know, every little movement you do kind of hurts. Uh, I had to go through a lot of physical therapy just to be able to move it again because with the surgery so you can see scar goes here all the way up and the surgeon actually had to cut through the bicep move the nerves that nerves are what control all through your hand and then go in there put the plate 10 screws and it was a spiral fracture just above my elbow and then a couple other little fractures above it. But from that, all the scar tissue, I'd say for the first month, I could only move my arm to about there. That was as far forward as I could get it. And until I did tons of physical therapy, you know, it took quite a while to even be able to get it now straight or as straight as it'll ever go. It's not 100% straight, but it is really, really close. So I didn't get cleared until September of 2017, uh, and it happened you know, today, which is the 29th of April in 2017. So it took quite a while. And then it wasn't until this year that I actually started having most of my feeling come back through here. Uh, even now, this still goes slightly numb from time to time, but for quite a while, I had almost no motor function between my fingers and that was something that was a little scary as well. But I'm back and I'm starting to feel good again. Starting to feel very similar to where I was right before I got injured, which is always a you know, thumbs up, great feeling to have. Here is the actual video of me riding in the race. Uh, actually on my wife's YZ250FX, decided to ride it this day. And I haven't ridden it since. My mistake was right here. Uh -oh. Don't worry, that sound was the GoPro popping off, and here is the result. All the pretty new hardware all the way down to the elbow. 
and this image was taken three weeks later. This video, this is the range I had after two weeks. You can see I'm trying as hard as I can. That is as far in as I could get it. And that is as straight as I could get it. The scar tissue is just built up so bad. Hopefully I see you guys out at the race. That's coming up this weekend. It's always a fun event. You know, 12 hours of Starvation Ridge. We start at 10 a.m. We go till 10 p.m. And yeah, it's, you know, gonna have four guys on our team this year. And just go all day. It's a lot of fun. Course kind of changes throughout the day, so it keeps it interesting. So if you're there, please say hi, swing by. I'll have the EVS pop-up set up so you'll know where to find me. And yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Come by, say hi, chit-chat for a bit.